guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here. Today I'm going to be filming a video that I feel like we all need to hear once in a while, whether it's the beginning of the year, you guys are watching this in the middle of the year, or maybe even it's the end of the year and we're heading into 2021. I don't know, whenever you guys are watching this, I think that this video is gonna be super, super helpful for you guys. I know it has really helped me so far kickstart the beginning of my 2020. I've been uploading a lot of videos that have to do with 2020 recently, so if you want some motivation or inspiration for this new year, definitely check out those links for those videos down below. But with all that being said, let's just hop right into this video. All right, so the first habit I have for you guys to implement is to develop a very good morning and night routine. I did this last year. I started to really get into my morning routine and my night routine and make it kind of like a ritual, something I look forward to every morning, something I look forward to every night. I just realized developing a routine really helped keep me grounded and really helped keep me relaxed, especially during the more stressful times, whether it was school or life, whatever. When things felt stressful, I knew that I always had a routine and um, you never want to get like too caught up in your routine, but I just think it's great to have a couple of things that you do ritually every single night, whether it's having tea before bed, journaling before bed, or whether it's working out in the morning, making a certain breakfast every morning, taking your vitamins every morning, whatever it may be, just having a very good routine, I think is gonna really keep you on your feet and really make you feel healthy and kind of like you have something to look forward to every time. So I highly recommend creating a good morning and night routine. I've posted my night and my morning routines a lot on my channel, so if you guys are interested, you can definitely go check back on my videos. And if you guys keep up with my vlogs, um, you notice that a lot of times my mornings are very ritual and a lot of the same things happen because I am a very routine person. I do find myself getting stuck in my routine a lot, um, but I think it's very healthy to develop. The next habit I think that we all could do, because we live in a society of consumption, believe me, I'm a victim of it. I love buying new clothes, new makeup, skincare, everything, and I just looked at the last year and realized I just bought so many things that weren't necessary. I mean, I bought so many clothes, I have so many clothes, and I really want 2020 to be the year where I just really minimize my consumption and how much money I spend on things. I actually use Poshmark to sell a lot of my clothes. It is so easy to use too. Um, you just download the app on your phone and you upload a picture of what you're selling and just um, put a listing up on there and sell the clothes because I don't like to just give them away and not really know where they're going um, because maybe they would just like get thrown away and I don't want that to happen. I want them to be put to good use. So I think it's great because you can also shop other people's closets and you can find things for like up to 70% off. I know some of my favorite brands are on there like Lululemon or Nike, Adidas. You can find cool shoes on there and even like designer pieces if you're really looking for that kind of stuff. So I think it's great to check out if you guys want. I will have my closet linked down below. Um, but also, yeah, you can check out my closet here. As you guys can see, I do have some things that I'm selling because I am getting ready to go abroad. So I have gone through my closet and really have tried to minimize everything that I have because I don't need 20 pairs of jeans and I don't need 40 million jackets like I can chill if you guys want to do the same thing it's super easy to like I said create a profile and upload um, images of the things that you're selling so if you're trying to minimize your closet and just really declutter then I highly recommend checking out Poshmark I just want this year to be like a year of decluttering and being smart with my money. So yeah, highly recommend that. I wanna start doing the thing where if I buy something, I get rid of something in my closet. So if I buy a new pair of shoes, I get rid of a pair of shoes in my closet. Or if I buy a new jacket, I get rid of a jacket. I just realized I hold on to so many clothes for no reason. And yeah, we don't want that anymore in 2020. The next thing that I think is great to implement is something that is healthy for your mind. Mental health is something I'm so passionate about and something I want to shed a lot of attention on just because it's obviously something that a lot of people deal with. It's something I deal with. I've talked about it a little bit before on my channel, um, but I just have realized that doing something healthy for my mind has been a game changer for me, whether it's doing a yoga class or doing um, some reading or journaling. So anything like that that is really just gonna like disconnect you from your phone or just 
from those things that can make you feel a little anxious or maybe make you feel sad, anything like that that's really hurtful for your mental health, it's great to turn to something that's not. So personally for me, as you guys could definitely see in 2019, doing yoga was my big thing that really helped me with my mental health and just kind of made me feel like grounded and at ease. So I loved doing that. The next habit I have for you guys are for all those out there who are planners and people who just really have a lot going on and have really like busy lives, all that kind of stuff. But every night before you go to bed, write down everything on your mind that you have to do the next day. That way you aren't finding yourself laying in bed um, thinking, oh my God, I have to do this tomorrow. I have to call this person. I have to make this appointment. I have to complete this assignment. Cause then your brain is like racing and that's really not helping you calm down and sleep. That's just making you like stress about what you have going on next. And that's gonna make you feel very anxious. And I noticed I did that a lot throughout the school year is I'd be like, oh my gosh, I have this assignment. I have to call this person and I have to get this scheduled. And my mind just felt like I had a million tabs open. So to really clear my mind, I would just grab a little notebook. I have a notebook that I use to just brain dump like everything that I have to do, like my to-do lists or people that I have to call, all kinds of stuff. And I just write down everything I have to do on that. And I actually started doing this new thing where I created like a template on Google Docs. I will have it linked down below for you guys. And I just find it so incredibly helpful. It has a section for um, phone calls and emails that I have to respond to for people. And then there's a section about like all the tasks that I have to do. And then also a little reminders section, whether it's like appointments coming up or um, th just like little tasks that I have to do. So I really like using that, especially for the days where I just feel really busy and overwhelmed. And it's just like a really good way to brain dump and get your mind cleared and empty so you aren't feeling overwhelmed by all the tasks that you might have to do. And then the next habit I have for you guys is to do the two minute tidy. And what I mean by this is maybe you have two minutes to spare before you go to your class or two minutes to spare before you have an appointment or something like that. Use those two minutes to just like tidy things up in your room, put things back where they're supposed to be and just clean up your space because I know for a lot of you guys probably out there too, cause at least for myself, when my room is messy, my life just feels messy. And I feel like a lot of times my room is a big reflection of like what's going on in my life. Like for example, during finals week or a week that I have a lot of stuff going on, my room isn't the cleanest and stuff is just everywhere. But I feel like when my space is very tidy and things are neatly put away, I don't have to worry about um, where something is or misplacing something or I don't have to worry about my room being a complete mess because it's a very like comfortable, cozy spot and especially like coming home after a long day, whether that's classes or your job or something like that, it's great to come home to like a nice clean space and you just feel like very zen and relaxed and you can get a candle going and you know, get the vibe set. You don't have to worry about cleaning up your room. Like I said, the two minute tidy. It's a game changer. All right, this next habit I have for you guys is one that we all could implement. I, I feel like we all could use it. And it's probably one of the most important ones I'm gonna talk about. And it is limiting the time on social media apps on our phone. You can do it. There's a little setting in your phone section where you can limit how much time you spend on certain apps, whether it's games, social media, anything like that. So personally for me, a lot of times when I'm on my phone, I'm spending it on social media. So I actually limited my social media use collectively to two and a half hours per day because every Sunday night when it rolled around, I got that notification on my screen time on average per the week. Seeing that it was five hours and 30 minutes per day was kind of a shock for me because I'm like, that's almost one fourth of my day that I'm just sitting, yeah, that is like basically one fourth of my day, that I'm just like sitting on my phone, like mindlessly scrolling, mindlessly scrolling through Instagram, watching YouTube videos, consuming other people's content, and not bettering my life. Because I know that me scrolling through Instagram, I'm not really doing much good on there. I'm just, just like unconsciously comparing my lives to others, or if I'm watching people's YouTube videos, I'm not really consuming valuable content. A lot of times it's just like vlogs where once again, maybe I'm comparing my work to other people's, which it's fun. I love watching other people's vlogs so much, but I think it gets to a point where there's a little bit of overconsumption in my life when it comes to social media. I mean, of course it just comes with what I do, but I can definitely limit it. And I really want to work on that and kind of shift that focus to other things, whether it's journaling or reading, and I'm sure there's gonna be days, 
obviously inevitably there's gonna be days where I want to just sit on my phone and consume content but doing it every single day having my phone screen time be an average of five hours every day is just way too ridiculous and something I don't want so like I said we're really trying to better the mental health this year and not consume it with my phone and shift to better things whether it's good books and valuable podcasts that kind of thing and the last final tip i have for you guys which is very very obvious but one that i think is important to remember is to try to wake up and go to bed at a reasonable time every day you don't want to be going to bed at 2 a.m. and then sleeping half of your day away and then waking up at like 1 p.m. in the afternoon and that's when you start your day. That I just think is a waste of a day. I know we all have different lifestyles, but like if you're just laying in bed until like 1 a.m. watching YouTube videos and TikToks, like yes, I understand we all have times like that sometimes, but if it is constantly being something that you're doing every single night, that is just not a healthy routine to get into and if you really think about it in the future it's not practical to be sleeping less than like four hours a night sleep is so incredibly important to your research people we need sleep so much and sleep is like one of the healthiest things ever besides water exercise you know it all so i'm not criticizing anybody out there that has rough sleeping schedules i've been there before i know like being a senior in high school i was like oh my god i'm gonna you know, stay up until 3 a.m. Like, school doesn't matter right now. And then I'd, like, wake up at 6 a.m. the next day. And I'm like, okay, three hours of sleep, that is not practical to survive a 12-hour day on three hours of sleep. So let's just be practical with when we're going to bed and when we're waking up. Because, like I said, it's going to help create a healthy routine for you in the long run. I seriously sound like a mother right now. So I'm sorry for my little motherly chat there. Anyways, that is all of my habits that I think would be a great to implement into this new year or like I said if you guys are watching this in the middle of the year just implement into your life in general having a good habits and developing um, good lifestyle changes will really make you feel good and feel productive so anyways that is everything I have to say and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys